After hardly any snow this winter, and we got a one-two punch from Mother Nature. This was as of 9 o'clock Sunday evening, and it was still snowing. A foot of snow in Pleasant Prairie and Kenosha was seen just under a foot, as well as East Troy. Brown deer about 10 inches, officially at the airport in Milwaukee and Shorewood, 9 inches of snow, and as expected, a little bit lighter amounts to the north. Sheboygan at around five inches of snow. Remember, we're still seeing snow showers throughout the overnight hours could pick up an additional one to three inches of snow. Those higher amounts will be closer to the lake from Milwaukee down towards Racine and Kenosha with those northeasterly winds. Winter weather advisory gradually phasing out the winter storm warning in the inland areas until midnight and then along the lakefront from Ozaki to Milwaukee until 3 a.m. The blizzard warning until 3 a.m. once again as well. Even though the snow start tapering off, the winds are still going to be a problem uh, throughout the overnight hours, creating low visibilities and blizzard conditions. You can see inland areas, the snow finally beginning to taper off to flurries, but still these little bands of snow, especially little lake effect snow, trying to form right along the lakefront. So we'll keep watching that during the overnight hours. Otherwise, already clearing back off to the west. Northwestern Wisconsin seeing clearing conditions and colder temps. So this storm finally, after more than 24 hours of snow, will get out of here during the overnight hours. Downtown Milwaukee, like all pretty much of southeastern Wisconsin, snow covered 15 degrees, a northerly wind at 17, but gusting over 30 miles per hour. So your temperatures they're in the single digits and teens for the most part across the area, and they will continue to drop overnight. Here's the main thing. The wind speeds anywhere from 15 to almost 40 miles per hour at times. That's creating those low visibilities. The blizzard conditions were seen as well as Kenosha and the future wind will show that those winds will slowly diminish overnight. They'll still be anywhere from 15 to 25 overnight with wind chills to 15 below during the day on Monday. Winds will lighten up between 5 and 15, which is much more tolerable. And then they'll start picking up again uh, Monday night into early Tuesday with the next storm system around here with this light fluffy snow around. There'll be more blowing and drifting. And then Tuesday afternoon, light winds. The wind chills as of around uh, Sunday evening were anywhere from one below in Milwaukee to 14 below in Beaver Dam. They will be between about 5 to 15 below overnight. As you're waking up early, look at the cold trying to make its way into the upper Midwest. 18 below in International Falls. Meanwhile, it's 15 in Milwaukee and 30 in St. Louis. We won't get to 18 below, but yes, we will see more cold air moving in here behind this storm system. Very common but after a big snowfall to get some of that cold air to move in. There goes your storm system. The winds will gradually diminish during the day tomorrow with the high pressure just to the south of us. So then we're going to watch the next storm system roll on in here uh, Tuesday late in the day into Tuesday night. An additional one to two inches of snow. It looks like during the day on Tuesday. So here's the forecast maps uh, for tonight. An additional one to three inches of snow. The heavier amounts will be right along the lakefront. Winds gradually diminishing. Temperature of five degrees. And then for tomorrow, mostly sunny conditions. A high of 14. The seven-day forecast showing cold conditions for the rest of the week.